We're at a very historic spot in Baton Rouge. Uh, we're on the Mississippi River, just adjacent to the Pentagon Barracks. On this spot in the 1770s, the British established a fort here. Uh, they called the area New Richmond, but in earlier years, it had been known as Baton Rouge because there was once a large red pole here that was a dividing line between the Bayou Gula and the Homa Indians. Um, and so the French had called this place Baton Rouge, and then later um, the British called it New Richmond. In September 1779, Governor Bernardo del Gavez from New Orleans came up to British West Florida and attacked the fort that was once here at this site and was able to defeat the British and take control of the Mississippi River. Um, it was one of the few battles of the American Revolution that was, took place outside of the 13 colonies. Um, and it's significant to Louisiana history because it took British West Florida into Spanish control. And so Baton Rouge and the area behind, um, east of us, uh, which once had been British, had become Spanish. Um, we were under the Spanish authorities even after the Louisiana Purchase. Um, in 1803, the purchase included all the land west of the Mississippi and all the land um, south of the Isle of Orleans, including Orleans. So this part of Louisiana remained under Spanish control. In September of 1810, local citizens rebelled against the Spanish and established their own republic, the West Florida Republic. They had a president, uh, Fulworth Skitwith, a cousin of Thomas Jefferson, and they had their own constitution and their own army. It was all a glorious West Florida Republic for about 74 days until when President James Monroe took over West Florida and we became finally part of the Louisiana Territory and eventually in April of 1812 became part of the United States.